Hey guys, I'm Sharon from Scott Studios. So it's been a while since I did an abstract art tutorial, so I thought I might do one today. So this is the scene we are creating today. And uh, we are going to use the MV Labs add-on and a script to create this scene. So I've uh, I've shown you guys how to install the MV Labs add-on in one of my previous tutorials. I'll have a card over here to for that tutorial so you guys can check it out and if you guys haven't checked it uh, you guys can see how to uh, install it in that video and also we'll be needing a script which I'll show you guys later how to install it and uh, how to use it also so we're gonna create our human mesh with the MBLM add-on and with N you can find it and I have deleted everything in the default scene and you guys can see the piece I'm pressing in the right corner of my screen. So I'm going to create a Caucasian male character. I'm going to create. It takes a few seconds and we have our mesh. I'm going to delete his rig. Select rig and X delete. And now I'm going to disable all the modifiers. We won't be needing any of them. And I'm gonna delete the material as well. Now I'm going to edit mode, select a word scene from the mesh, press L and hide it. And we won't be needing any of these because it's gonna look a little messy if we have all this. So I'm going to extra view mode and box select everything and delete and alt h to bring back our mesh and alt z to get out of its remote and we have our mesh i'm going to duplicate it three times shift d shift d uh, so we have two now i'm going to duplicate it once more get another one so you have three and now i'm going to apply the toggle switches and hide the first two and just gives this one to now and uh, now we are going to use our script so for this you have to go to image uh, here's one of the so for this you have to go to mids uh, github page and you can find this script and select it and just copy it with control C or copy and Go back to your blender scene, divide the screen, divide the scene too, and I'm gonna hide this and then add a text editor and create a new scene, and a new text, and paste it. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it slice underscore mesh dot py. It's very important that you have py in the end of your script because that blender knows it's a Python file. And so yeah, and in this, these parameters will, uh, are actually the height of our mesh of what we want the script to do. So it starts from zero. So we should. I'm gonna make it 0 0.01. So it starts from the bottom, and 0 0.8 is the height. Is in meters. So that's it for this. So I'm gonna run the script now with Alt P, and it might take a second. You guys can see what the script does. So you guys can see uh, the mesh looks a bit wonky, but we're gonna handle it later. So I'm gonna select everything with A and Control J to merge it all, and I'm with the modifiers tab, and I'm gonna add uh, edge split modifier. So you guys can see it looks fine now. So now I'm gonna slice it horizontally or vertically. Yeah, it's vertical. So I'm gonna slice it again. So this time I'm gonna change the parameters. I'm gonna make it minus zero because we are gonna slice uh, we're using parameters in the uh, x axis. So I'm gonna do minus one and one. And I'm gonna change this from uh, x-axis to 0 make this 
key make this one zero make this one and now we press call key again back 10 seconds and we have it sliced in wax so yeah the wax so now we are going to randomly spread our uh, sliced mesh so I'm going to select object and in transform random tra uh, random transform and we'll get this black box here over here now we can adjust settings we like so I'm going to make it to about 0 0.15 in the x-axis and maybe something like 0.1 y-axis and 0.1 in z-axis as well so that you have something like this so i'm gonna so it's already selected every, all the mesh uh, uh, everything selected so i'm gonna close this window we won't be needing it now so i'm gonna press ctrl j to make it make everything in one object again right now I'm going to tap into edit mode and pick one cube and press 3 to go to face edit mode and pick four, all four sides of one cube and go to select and where is it? Select similar and normal. Okay, so you guys can see we have selected all the faces from this side. I'm gonna press one, and now I'm gonna with X, I'm gonna delete all those faces. So we only have these meshes. I'm gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna tap out of edit mode. I'm gonna add a solidify modifier. I'm gonna put it on top and make the thickness to about 0 .0, 0 0 0.005 something like that looks good so yeah we have this now I'm gonna enable the second mesh I'm gonna unhide it and add a wireframe modifier to that make the thickness to about 0.0 one top blender crash, but I thought blender crash, but I did. So I'm gonna save it. Do this save as. Let's see. I'm gonna name it something. something let's save it. And now. We have our wireframe. Might increase it a bit, like maybe two. And add a plane. Scale it. Scale it five. Okay. Shift D. Shift D and R X ninety. Rotate it. And now I'm gonna move it back a bit. Shift I'm gonna rotate and move it back a little bit with Y. Scale with this a little bit more. Let's select this and scale it down. Move it up a little bit more. Yes. So now we're going to do the shading of this. So for the shading we are going to so for the shading we are going to go to the shading tab and select the small plane we created and press new and now we are going to add a gradient texture gradient texture 
and if you guys have the node wrangler add-on enabled you guys can press ctrl shift to view our texture and we are going to make it a spherical and press ctrl t with the node, node wrangler add-on and plug the object into the vector so we have it in the middle now I'm gonna add a color ramp and make it constant increase the size of our circle about this point and now I'm going to create a wave texture wave texture control shift so you can see I make it rings plug the vector of this mapping node into the vector and you duplicate our color ramp plug it over here might switch the colors a bit so something like this now Going to delete the appearance project, we don't need in that. I'm gonna add a mix shader and an emission shade. Plug the emission over here, and I'm gonna add transparent shade as well. Transparent PS shade, plug that to the bottom stuff. Plug the color to the factor of our mix shader. Control shift. We have the shader, and now I'm going to add another mix shader. Plug it to the bottom. Hold on. And plug the transparent shader bottom in here as well, and. might have to switch the colors over here as well. So go to render view and see whether you have what you want. Switch these colors as well. And I think I have what I want. Looks pretty okay. Might increase the scale of scale of the wave texture a bit. And the distortion as well. About 5.5. Now I'm going to do the for our scene. So for that, I'm going to save it again. Go to the world settings and make it black. Press one, and I'm going to add my camera as well. And Control Alt Zero, place the camera. Front G with Y and we'll zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to add two spotlights. Oh, yeah, two spotlights. Place located in the Y axis are Y ninety. Increase the size to about 20. Make this one in the left, in the right, red. And make the power to about 1000. Okay, good. Make the GPU. And I'm going to duplicate this. Should be R X 8. I'm gonna press S and X. So I'm gonna duplicate the spotlight and move it over here and rotate it in the Z axis to about 100 degrees, 180 degrees. 
and move it somewhere over here. Go to Z again. And change the color to white. And now we can go over to view and see. So yeah, this looks good for me. And I'm going to enable... Toggle view. And the bottom mesh. The last one. And add a black material to it. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I have a few tutorials planned, new animation loops planned for our uh, this YouTube channel, and I uh, uh, hope you guys like this, and if you guys have any questions, leave a comment, and yeah, see you in the next one.